what's going on guys welcome back to day two of the pizza application build so in this video we will be uh, building the initial screen that is the home screen as we saw in the demo video that is the video one so in today's uh, build we will start implementing the the basic design that comes inside the home screen and then we'll continue building up, up the application so first step is to create a expo manage project so let me go to the terminal that is over here and then i'm already in my build folder so let us write expo in it the project name uh, that is dominoes tube let's say and then hit enter so now it'll ask us to choose a, a basic template so uh, we will select the first one that is blank template and then hit enter so this should create our uh, javascript dependencies and then we should uh, start building up the application from scratch so let's wait for it to install the project and then talking about the home design that is this one so the this is the basic design that will be implementing inside a home screen so uh, so this contains a scrollable list that is at the initial stage and then we have the menu component which is here and at the bottom we have simply three different images that are being rendered just to complete the screen up so yeah i think now the project has been installed so now let us go to uh, our project and then let us start building up the application so cd to project dot all right so let's close the previous one that is this one that was not needed and over here yeah, so this is our application so let's start building it up so before doing that let me just run the application so that the emulator opens up so to do that let me write expose start and then hit enter so this should open the expo developer tools yeah so we have five options to to view our application we can run on android device or emulator or on ios simulator or in a web browser or even send link with email or the last option that is publish or republi uh, republish project or we can even uh, see the application in our own phone if we uh, scan the QR code so to do that uh, we need to install the expo uh, expo application from the store so let me hit the second option that is run on IO simulator and then minimize this one and wait for the simulator to open all right let me minimize this okay yeah so now let's wait for the simulator to install the application so that we can view what is happening so this is the basic uh, project structure that uh, comes from that comes with expo that is the app.js the node modules the app.json package.json and all that stuff so this is the initial point that is app.js uh, as we can see a text being rendered that is open up app.js to start working on your app so this is the starting point from where we'll be building our application. So before anything, uh, let let me just create uh, two or three for two folders, one for components, and the next one is for screens. So this is for components, and then next one. So these are for screens. Okay. So the data thing we can do it later. So now what we do is we will go to our screens folder and then create a new file called as the home screen because this is the screen we'll be designing in this video so home screen.js yeah so to get the shorthand code snippet we just write r uh, rnfes and then hit enter to get this code snippet you need to have es7 installed on your systems that is this one yeah this this is the one es7 all right so now what we do is we will start designing the first thing that is this one that is the scrollable view in a horizontal fashion so to do that we need the data that is the images so i have created the data beforehand itself uh, that is in our drive so that i can share the drive in the description too all right so this is the initial data so let's copy the first part and then we can pretty much copy it inside our home screen all right yeah, so before that let me go to our app.js and then just make some changes so that we can see everything is working right okay and let us write a different text so let's develop a pizza application yeah so you can see the text being changed so uh, uh, currently it is 
centrally aligned and uh, because of the these two styles that is align items and justify content center so let's remove that and it goes to the top entire top it, it's it's almost touching the status bar okay that's all right so now let us import our home screen inside our app.j so that we can start working so import home screen from screens then save the file so we should see home screen coming up over here and let's remove that text that is not required yeah but still uh, you can see that home screen text is almost touching the status bar so over here instead of using a view we will use uh, something called a safe area view so that it comes into the safe area that is the text so the same thing over here and let's import it from react native Okay, so save area view yeah and then save the file yeah so you can see it, it coming in a safe area that is the text so now what we do is uh, we will make use of the data that that is the uh, that, uh, that is this one and then we will render a horizontal uh, list of items okay so let us let me make use of the map function so data dot map for every item in the map Okay, we will render a, a view which will contain an image inside it okay so view inside this view we will have a image yeah so image in react native takes uh, the source okay so first let me imp import this one from react native yeah so the image takes the source and the source should be given something called as uri that is this one so in our case URI is going to be the item dot image because we are mapping through each item present uh, each image present in, in this list that is this data list. So let me write item dot image and this view will take a prop called as key. It's gonna take key or we can even write item dot id even that is gonna work I guess. Yeah so now if I save nothing is gonna happen because we have not given a specific width and height for the image. So let's do that. So let's say a width of 120 and a height of 90 and save the file yeah so you can see all the images coming up so according to this design it has a a larger width okay i think it is 50 and 200 yeah 200 is good okay so now uh, we will wrap this entire thing inside a scroll view and just put it inside this one all right so now what we do is if i save it nothing is going to happen because we have not given any props to the scroll view so let me save yeah so but uh, we want all these images to come in a horizontal direction so uh, let's go and give a prop to the scroll view that is horizontal and then save the file yeah so you can see everything coming in horizontal direction and we can even scroll and we can see the, that that scroll bar coming also so we will remove the scroll bar and then we will give some basic styling to the view so to remove the scroll bar let's write another prop that is show horizontal scroll indicator and set it to be false and save the file now if i scroll that horizontal scroll, scroll bar should be disappeared and it's gone okay so next thing is let's give some styling to the view let's give it a bit of margin of 10 all right and let's uh, increase a height the height to be 120 all right i think it is yeah it's almost matching okay let's increase it to be 220 and height to be 140 130 i think yeah, i i think 130 is good and let's remove that home screen text that's not required Alright, so the next thing we build is this one that is a menu component. So let's uh, go into our component folder, mind B, and then over here. Okay, I don't know why it's, I think I've made a mistake. So let's delete this one. And let's press on Abrogius, new folder, components. So now let's create a new component called as our menu component component.js and then rnfes together shorthand snippet 
and then now let me import our menu component inside our home screen that is just beneath the scroll view that is here so menu component and then save the file if i save the file we should see the text of menu component coming on the screen that is this one so now let, uh, let us go to our menu component and then start designing that part so we have a text saying explore menu so instead of this one uh, let's give explore menu save yeah and for this view let's give a bit of padding 10 so for the text part a font size of 16 and then font weight of bold save it 17 yeah, I think 17 looks good so let's save that and then what we do is we will start designing this part that is the blue color uh, menu component so just beneath this one let's make use of a pressable all right so next this will take the images okay so let's go to our drive link and then check out the images that is this one these images so let me copy it okay 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 uh, before uh, before doing that <coughs> let's make use of another pressable and over here we will uh, render our image so let's import image as well as pressable from react native not that one yeah so let's copy the images now so the first one so again uh, this will take three pressables all right let's make another pressable now let's copy the remaining two images also that is this one and paste it over here and the last one and we'll paste it right here I think I made a mistake okay this one should come in between this one yeah so now let's format the document yeah so we have uh, three pressables being rendered that is the first one is this one okay this is the second one and this is the third one and we have uh, a outer pressable that is this one so if I see the uh, if I save the file you can see the images coming up on the screen yeah so these are the images and for each image we have a width of 80 and a height of 80 and a border radius of 40 to make it look circular so let us style the outer pressable that is this one so let's give it a background color of let's say blue and then let's later change the color and uh, let us align all its children in in flex direction row so flex not grow flex direction of row and then align items of center come on and then we will also give justify content of space between then let's format it yeah so these are these are the basic stylings required so let me save the file all right so let's give a bit of spacing internal padding of 10 okay of 20 yeah so also uh, uh, for these principles you also have the text that is the uh, that is uh, these texts so uh, uh, we will uh, render it just after the images over here the first one is veg pizza so after this image we have another text so this one is for deserts come on the last one so for this we have a pizza mania all right so if i save yeah you can see the text coming so let's style the text and give some basic design to it so style 
first let's give text align center so it's aligned uh, uh, right beneath the, the image and the next one is a font size of 70 and font weight of bold I don't think it's bold but it has a color of white save and a bit of spacing also towards the top that is margin top of 10 save okay so let us copy the same piece of styling to all the other texts too so this one and this one too save the file and then for the outer pressable that is this one let's give a spacing towards the top because it's almost touching the text of 14 yeah and then let us also give a border radius of 10 yes so now we will change the color okay so domino css color code so let's select that blue color if we get a correct color code i think this is the one so let's copy that and then instead of blue we will give this one yes i think it's exactly matching all right so now we will continue building that is inside our home screen just after the menu component we will just fill up the screen with three basic images actually the the main part of the build is, is in the third fourth and the uh, fifth videos okay so let us go and grab the images real soon that too is there in the link so these are the bottom images basically so let me copy the entire thing yeah so just uh, uh, beneath the menu component we will render this thing and then format it yeah so we have basically uh, three views and each view contains the image with the source and the uri given and for the image we have the styling of with the front percentage a height of 120 and the border radius of 7 and then let me import the image yeah it's already imported yeah so if i save the file yeah you should see all the images coming up on the screen so this is pretty much the uh, the home screen so in the next video we will explore out more and then we will uh, go to the next screen that is the pizza screen as you've seen in the demo video and then we'll start designing the different items of pizzas and then we will continue building the application so in today's video we basically built the scroll view that is horizontal and then we build the menu component uh, so that we can navigate to the next screen and at the end of the last we have simply rendered three images just to fill up the screens just to give a good ui experience and then i think that's it for the home screen part yeah so until then keep exploring thank you for watching